Hi, my name is Atticus Patton, and uh, I'd like to introduce you to my wife, Jennifer. Hi. Um, we're opening a, a Montessori Enrichment for Homeschoolers program. Uh, it's kind of running right now, um, but we're going to expand soon. And uh, Jen's going to be running it, so I'd like you to uh, talk to her. Well, I'd like to have her talk to you a little bit about uh, what we're doing here. So first, um, describe your background in education. Um, I started working in preschool when I was 19 and uh, found Montessori when my oldest daughter was two. And for the last five years, I have um, been in the Montessori preschool realm. Um, and I have quite a bit of experience in summer camps and day camp programs and things of that nature. So really working with all different age groups and different programs. Okay. Um, so overall, how long have you been working with children? Over 15 years. Okay. Uh, Can you do the math? <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about your approach with children. Um, after finding the Montessori method, um, the approach definitely changed a lot. Um, and since then, that's been the only approach, and that is one of independence and empowerment. So um, I look to give not only my own children, but my students um, the tools they need to be successful in independence and the encouragement they need to empower themselves to make all of their own choices or, you know, as much as we can within reason. Um, why are you opening the mess Center? Um, it started as a wouldn't it be cool kind of conversation and once we got into the homeschooling community and I started becoming more active um, in diff various groups we realized that there really truly was a need for a place for homeschoolers to call home slash school. <laughs> um, People are constantly in the groups asking, you know, where can I find this type of class? Or, you know, is does anybody know where I can hold this type of class? I have an instructor, but know where to take the class. And um, those types of things were constantly being asked. So we saw the need for a place where homeschoolers can kind of come together and provide each other with the services that we're already doing, um, but in an atmosphere where I don't necessarily have to deep clean my house every time I want to teach a class. <laughs> Where are you planning to open the mess center? Right now we are running the current program out of our living room in Eva Beach. We are looking at places in Eva Beach but it really depends on the site itself, um, how it will meet our needs and how it will um, assist us to grow. Um, so that could take us out of Eva Beach. We're looking to stay on the leeward side of the island. Um, so that's kind of the only real requirement that we're looking at. Mess sounds a little uh, indifferent. Can you tell us a little bit about what it stands for and what it means? So MEH stands for Montessori Enrichment for Homeschoolers. Um, we my family, as a inside joke, appreciates meh because that's kind of our schooling philosophy. We say meh when things, you know, don't quite turn out the way we expected or, you know, when we miss a lesson here and there. Um, that's kind of our philosophy is meh, we'll do it tomorrow. So we kind of thought it was ironic that the letters kind of went with that and that's kind of our philosophy is very laid back. So that's where meh. Which kind of fits in with the the Hawaiian theme and being here in Hawaii. Right, being being kind of on a different timetable and not really necessarily worrying about... Um, what am I... What's the word I'm looking for? Staying on schedule and making lesson plans that are um, solid. That you would have to adhere to and right. being more flexible and fluid, yeah. Um, what will the Mess Center do? It will in its most basic function, provide homeschooling services. So, for example, um, a drop-off program for preschoolers and elementary students several days a week simply to enrich what you're doing at home and give parents a little bit of a break. Um, and then extracurricular classes like baking and art and cooking and 
um, baking is kind of cooking, sorry, um, science classes, um, yoga classes, whatever we can think of as a homeschooling community, whatever the parents are interested in sharing with one another, those are the classes that we will offer as extracurriculars or week-long camps or workshops, whatever we want. Um, what ages will be accepted? Right now, our operating program is a primary Montessori program, so it's ages three to six-ish. Um, once we're in the center, we will expand that to 12-year-olds. If the need is in the community to go beyond that, we will absolutely do that. For people who don't know much about Montessori, is it a religiously affiliated program? No, it's not. It is a philosophy of education for children of all ages. It was started by someone who happened to be Catholic, and thus it has um, kind of been rumored to be religiously affiliated, and it also happens to be in a lot of churches because of um, Maria Montessori's um, background, but the philosophy itself is not religiously based. How do you expect the programs to grow or change over the next couple of years? Well, I mentioned growing from the small preschool program that we have now to a program that includes um, elementary students. Um, part of that growth will be the classes that I had mentioned earlier, the extracurriculars. Um, we would also like to grow to a point where we can provide um, community social events. Um, for example, like a movie night or Saturday morning cartoons with cereal for breakfast. Um, charity events where we might raise money for not only our own center but for other things going on on the island um, or that the kids just are interested in. Um, and those types of things would be decided just based on need or interest or parents or kids wherever wherever it takes us. Um, I would like, also like to add to that one that you know as the Mess Center grows and we become more a part of the community um, maybe trying to do some community cleanup especially in some of the the areas of Eva Beach and uh, right. we you know we were looking at Baker's Point Barber's, Barber's Point. Point sorry Barber's Point yeah. and uh, there's some some areas out there that could really use some cleaning and I think that the uh, homeschooling community is is pretty good at pulling together and doing stuff like that so um, the center itself will be a good place to coordinate things Rally like that the troops. And, and exactly a, a place mm -hmm. for us to meet up and do that um, so how will these changes affect the community the goal to start is simply the homeschooling community to give them, you know, a place to go um, without um, a school for my kids to go to. They don't have um, access to, you know, team sports. They don't have access to um, what are some of the extracurriculars, uh, talent shows or, you know, things of that nature, special pep rallies. Um, so to give the homeschooling community a place to do that that's already there. That's the first way we would like to change that community because that's kind of our original core community. Beyond that, we would like to be able to change the community um, through the social event programs and through the cleanup programs um, that we would like to get started once we have a good group of volunteers and active participants. So when you say the, the community, are you talking specifically about the homeschooling community or Eva Beach Kabale kind of as a whole? Both. Um, starting with the homeschooling community by offering services and then growing to make those services and the homeschoolers about our community as a whole, not only Eva Beach and Kapolei, but the island in general, the community of the animals in the ocean, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Well, what's the ultimate goal for the, the Mass Center? Ultimately, I envision it being just a complete center of activity. Um, I see homeschooling programs, but I also see the social events, possibly a theater troupe at some point, because that's a background that we have and that we are passionate about. Um, and I see it just being a place where families, not only homeschooling families, but eventually all families from the community are coming together to create change and better life on the island. Well, it sounds like we got a lot of work. I know, um, right? <laughs> so 
So for the people that are watching this for uh, Indiegogo and thinking about contributing, um, you know, in the beginning it is a place for um, homeschoolers and it's kind of a business that we're interested in starting up. But ultimately we are looking to uh, make some changes, um, not only in the, in the homeschooling community, but in the community around us and really giving back uh, in that way. So, you know, for the, the people that are interested in helping us, um, I'd like to say right off the, the bat, thank you very much. Um, and if, uh, if you're looking for progress after this, um, we will be keeping up with a blog um, and posting updates throughout. Um, you can check out our website at masscenter.com and uh, there'll be posts on that one for the, the blogs. Was there anything else that you wanted to say? Meh. No. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> All right, thanks. Touche. <laughs>